So I'm trying again. I went live at two o'clock for 10 minutes and nobody showed up. So this is take two. Just wondering if maybe nobody got notified or they're just running late. So we are trying this again. So I'm just going to sit here and do nothing. And if this actually takes off and is an hour long and people showed up, then. Oh, hey. <laughs> Hey, Teresa. Hey, Sam. Holy shit. Okay. People are here. What the hell was that other one? That was so weird. So, hey, Mark, what we're doing is I'm doing the Totally Nuts Tea. If any of you bought the David's Tea and you want to join me. Cheers. Give everyone a second to get here. I don't know how many people are looking or waiting or gave up or what happened there. Daniel, yes. Hey, man. Mm. This is the holiday merch. Unveiling it today. And, well, I already said it all in the other video. Bring some Lithuania. Yes, it is the capital of Amanita. By God. Yes, we are here. Hey, everybody. Yes, you found it. That was weird. I was live at two o'clock for 10 minutes. There wasn't a soul. I don't know what happened. So I ended it and started it over. Found your videos. Mind blowing. Yeah. Hey, Sam. That's how most of us got here. We all got here the same damn way. We found one. We're like, what the fuck is this? We did a Google search. Yeah, good weekend. So glad we're here. It is a good weekend. The energy feels better. Everything feels better. So I have to be careful what I do on camera. So I'm not going to say anything, but you know about my store and what's there. And this is what I'm doing with the merch. I've got these now because I wanted to be able to keep this in it and this <laughs> and this. So this is like my travel medicinal kit. So yeah, girl going to get ready for this live video. I'm still reeling from that freaking trip. I need a little bit of a boost. So I'm not going to do that momentarily, but I can't do it on camera. Or they will take this video down. So one moment, please. All right. Oh, aren't they great? My daughter turned me on to them, the stars I wear when I'm celebrating and want to decorate myself. Speaking of decorating myself, I feel a tattoo coming. So I'm trying to get some ideas. The guy that makes all my merch, he designed a tattoo that is so cool. I might use it. I don't know. It's been in some of the videos at the ends of my videos. When I do cinematics, I throw it in there periodically, you know. All right. Let's see what everybody's saying. Yeah, Daniel, I couldn't. Nobody could find it. Evidently, I don't know what was going on. I want to say thank you for the Amanita. David, you are so welcome. Clearly, it is my life's purpose. And when I did that trip on psilocybin, I met the Amanita. And we talked about that. Ring is in the house. Oh, Anna Brown. Yeah. Thanks for putting that here in the chat so everybody else can see it. Yeah, Daniel, I saw your purchase in my store this morning. Thank you so much. Thank you, Teresa. Waiting for you to reply to my Instagram message. JJG. Are you the same username over there? I'm so backed up on Instagram. You don't even know. Something happened in my life. I don't know. Everything was slow all the way up to 9,000 subs. And then in three weeks time, I went from nine to 10,000 and messages exploded across all the platforms. And I'm, I'm not even getting all the messages anymore. I'm so far behind. Ah, hello from Poland. I love my Pauls, man. Y'all always show up. I want to visit Poland. 
So let's get this party started. So what I want to talk about, what I'm going to do is stop looking at the feed and I'm going to talk to you guys for a minute and then I'll go back and check on the feed. So what I want to talk about is gratitude. And I'm clearly feeling grateful being at 10K. But at, at the same time, it's like I am and I'm not because, yeah, it's an it's an affirmation to me that what I'm doing matters because it's hard, y'all. It gets really hard. And you guys help me get up every day and do it again, especially when the shitty comments happen and I don't sleep and I stay up all night wondering and doubting myself. So if you watch the video on the psilocybin trip, you know, I have a, a confidence problem. And so when I celebrate 10K, I still wonder like, yeah, but how many of those are actually still here? Like most of those people, they sub and then they're like, oh, this bitch doesn't know what she's doing. And they left. So is it really 10K? You know, like, is it? <laughs> so I'm grateful. And then at the same time, I'm like, you know what? It's a party. It's a support network. And it doesn't matter how many people are in it. Like, we all will come and go. And that's the beauty of it. So that's the initial gratitude is it's just it's not thank you for 10K. It's thank you for growing this thing and sticking around, because when I first started it, it was me talking to myself. We built the forum and there were five people on it. And it, I would check in every two days to nothing. Now, like if I just want to talk to anyone Across all of these platforms, there's so many people to talk to. And I'm getting gaining access to things like this book is the freaking Amanita Bible. Like, holy hell. I wouldn't have known about this if this guy hadn't sent it to me. So there's so much going on now about this Amanita. And I'm going to be speaking at the San Francisco Psychedelic Society. Like, holy hell, really? two engagements with them, actually, one coming up next month and then again in January. So I'm going to be starting my career as a speaker. Like, wow. And uh, where I go, I take you with me. And then I want to leave a way for you to follow so that whatever access I get, you get also. Does that make sense? So let's talk about gratitude. So one of the things that I'm having a hard time with and always have is when people say that you have got to have gratitude like that is some gaslighting bullshit. And I don't think you should be grateful if you are homeless and you don't want to be and you can't afford to feed your children and they're eating crap food when you can get food. And no matter what you do and how hard you try you can't get out of your situation. I wasn't grateful when I was living in a constant state of panic attacks and anxiety for months and missing life. What the fuck is there to be grateful about that? And I just want to reaffirm that that is some gaslighting new age bullshit that makes you feel like it is your problem and your fault that you're having normal reactions to PTSD, panic, anxiety, being locked up for quarantine, being unemployed, being underemployed, living in a situation that's abusive or not good for you. Like, I get it. I get it. There are ways to tolerate living in a situation until you can change it. And it doesn't do anybody any good to mope and feel like a victim. However, sometimes you are a victim. But it doesn't help for you to walk around judging it and sinking in it if you find moments where you can feel a little bit better. But gratitude is a luxury. And have you noticed when people's lives are shitty, they tend to cling to religion or free free magical bullshit because they're looking for any way to feel better. But then all of a sudden when life's better, they sort of drop it and sort of slink away and kind of really don't talk about it anymore. Like that's how gratitude is because how are you supposed to be grateful when the shit is hitting the fan in your life? 
Now, true, you can find moments to say, you know what, I'm just grateful I have a mug that I love to drink out of. I'm grateful that my children are healthy and happy and that that they're safe. Or I'm grateful that I have a shirt that I really like. Or I'm grateful that I have one meal today or whatever, you can find those things. And if you can get yourself to a place where you can appreciate those things, good for you. But it takes work to get there. And instead of shaming you and saying, you should be grateful, you should be praised if you can get there when you're in a shit situation and you can find one moment to go, you know what, that's fucking awesome. And then the rest of the time, you're like, this is not fucking awesome. And then when it gets better and your life gets better and you do work yourself into a better place, and most of it is luck, some of it is action, a lot of it is luck, then gratitude gets to be the reward for that. I know I'm going to catch flack for this, and I don't care. They can bring it. But I have had a serious issue with gratitude my whole life, and I think it's convenient in a way for therapists and people who don't have therapy degrees that like to post on TikTok and Instagram and tell you all about what you need to do to feel better so they can feel better about themselves. They just regurgitate the whole gratitude bullshit thing because it makes some content for them. And it's like, you know what? Stop. Stop because it makes people feel bad. And if you are feeling grateful and you are in a really messed up, difficult situation, there's a reason that you're finding that. And it might be because you've done a lot of work in your life. Maybe you're not struggling with an intense amount of PTSD and panic and anxiety, or, you know, maybe you were born with a gift of just really amazing neurotransmitters. And if you've managed to work yourself to a place where no matter what happens, you're grateful, that's excellent. And kudos to you. I'm just saying not everybody is there or can get there. So I'm giving you permission to not feel grateful all the time. Okay. Gratitude is important. We can use it like a tool and we'll have more videos on that. Let me get called up. Most celebrities followings are made up by ghost followers. Yeah. Marketing and all that. Yeah. True. Hello from Russia. Hey, Sharon, you came over here too. Good for you. Sharon's a patron. And so we did our Zoom meeting just before this one with patrons. She was there. This channel will grow. It's not clickbait. It's not flashy. What do you mean it's not flashy? I work really hard to make it flashy. I think by flashy, you mean I'm just kind of raw and <laughs> rough around the edges. Oh, mushroom hype. The channel subject is fascinating. Thank you, Fish Teeth. I think so, clearly. Oh, thank you, Frank. Nikki, oh, I'm grateful for you. I really am. I talk about how grateful I am in my trip video. Like, I get into some profound shit about my viewers and comments and stuff. It surprised me when I went back and listened to it. Happy new moon, Vlad. Thanks for all the mushrooms, Frank. Minneapolis, you finished the trip. Okay, let's see. Love you and your dedication to your followers and learning. Oh, Laura. Hey, Laura. <laughs> Bed spread in the back of the lazy cat. Hey, she's awesome. She's not lazy. However, she's napping because she played really hard earlier. I wore them all out. I had a party. We did a party, a catnip party, and I wore all the cats out so they would sleep while I worked. <laughs> Isn't that a cool comforter? I looked for six months for the right comforter. Found that one on Amazon. <laughs> Last place I looked. Moringa. Always you. It's always you. Well, B welcome, Bill. You're late to the party, but welcome. And maybe you're going to stick around for a long time. You know what's weird about this mushroom season is our mushroom season. I mean, it's just you and the camera and the occasional background <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm just messing with you. Nice headphones, dude. I love my razors. Aren't they great? I love them. So, the, oh shit, train just left the track. I said I was going to talk to you about something. What did I just say I was going to talk to you about? Bedspread, comforter. 
Perfect love. Trip. Dig. I, I figured that out, Daniel, that you meant dig. Dude, my autocorrect is insane. I already have dyslexia. And then I already have like my little things are small on my phone. And so I fuck up my writing. And then we throw autocorrect in there. Jesus Christ, man. It's cool that others gained the forbidden fruit. Adam and Eve spirit literally spoke to me from within like I always knew. Really? I'm jealous. Random. I didn't I, I don't I didn't have that. Uh, fish tea. You watched the trip video. It was so interesting to hear you say it was like childbirth. Oh, really? I was wondering if other people felt that. Oh, mushroom season. Right. So it's strange this year because three years now, our fruiting is in November. It's late. And I have to watch everybody else all around the world get theirs while Amanita Dreamer has to come up last getting hers. And this year, people were getting their fruitings a month early. And sure enough, like a month ago, we had a huge fruiting here. And you've seen all the foraging videos. And now the weirdest thing is happening. People are starting to get another fruiting again. And I'm like, mm, maybe it's going to be coming for me, too. So I've been going out. I haven't found anything, though. But it started, the first of y'all started chiming in from the Slavic areas. And Hungary and Poland and all that. And now a couple of people in Great Britain are starting to see some. Uh, not They're not far north yet. It's weird. They're starting in the lower latitudes and working their way up. But I have a feeling that's just the jet stream being weird. I don't know. Thanks for the reminder. Anyway, cannabis for that. You got to meet me in person. I don't know. Maybe you might not like me. I'm weird. Do you also see the patterns of finish your thought, Nia? Nikki, you found some beautiful family of panthers. See, I don't have panthers around here. I really want to try them, but I'm afraid to buy them from anybody. Still grow. You watch your videos every time they come out. Thank you, Frank. I always wonder who those first people are, you know, that like I'll upload it and I'll go get something to eat or make a tea and come back and it's already got like 30 views. I'm like, who are these people? Yeah, we don't, I can't find, I, I don't want Liberty Caps. The first year I started doing mushrooms, I was looking around, but it freaked me out so bad to be looking for illegal shit that I just quit. No joy on Amanitas. That sucks. Amanitas are, they're sketchy, man. Oh, Frank, that's cute. Y'all look at the, look at the comments as they're scrolling by. Look what Frank drew. That's cute. Daniel, where are you? What incense do I purchase? I'm going through benzo hell. Don't buy incense. Well, I mean, the the Egyptian one will help a little, but you need more than that. You need to be, I can't say what you need to be doing. Why don't you Google Amanitas and see who's selling them and just deal straight up with the Amanita and skip the smoke blend because it's water. It's blended. It's for a different purpose. Once you get settled, JJ, and you're more calm, then it's a really great way to end the day. Frank, you have some penis envy. Your message got held for review because you put penis in there. That's hilarious. Hey, Axel. Oh, yay. Hey, Sraka Koopa. It is you. I am weird, Laura. I'm so fucking weird. I want to try the Panthers. Yeah, I do too. Um, let's see. Do you get into Cernios, Celtic, Druids, and connection to the forest? Native Americans worked already with Amanita. Wapag. I want to learn more. Um, this book goes into it. It's my goal for 2021 is to try to meet up and find as many people as I can that are indigenous that have used this mushroom for a long time. I'm having a hard time reaching out to people like that, though. They don't really want to talk to me because I don't have clout because I'm just a YouTuber and they don't know that if they could trust me, or what, I, you know, like what I'm going to do with it. So. Found some in the south of France coming back. OK, good, 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 good. That's good to know, Axel. New psychedelic mushroom found this year with similar compounds to salvia. Seriously. 
It's classified, Daniel. Are you in America? By the way, Daniel, I keep asking you to message me. Same category as heroin, coke, etc. What is class A? Oh, Amanitas. I know y'all got some fucked up laws. That law that what was it? It's 2016 that they passed that psychedelic law in Great Britain. Texas haven't found any psilocybin, plant amanitas, honeys, lobsters. Cool, Mickey. And the little people. Also, the Nagual protector spirit. All right, Johnny. I'm going to make notes of all this. Do you also see patterns of feelings and personality traits that you do not accept in yourself turn into entities? I could relate to the video about three entities. I hadn't thought about it like that, Neo, but I will now. <laughs> I'll probably think about it way too much. Uh, you are our shaman leader. I don't think so. I mean, I do shamanic work when I make my smoke blends. That is very much a shamanic effort. Sharon, I'm working on it. That pain thing, I'm working on it. Damn, Bill, they still held your comment for review because you said shite. YouTube's bots are ruthless, man. Uh, whoa, can't, I'm going to show that one. Can't believe I caught you live. Well, I always post on the community tab when I'm going to be going live so you can put it on your calendar and if you're not subscribed you won't see it use your channel research for use the muscaria cool that's why I made it meditation aspect of chewing salvia divinorum in the traditional way okay I am always down for trying traditional methods yeah fish teeth the problem with that though is they only decriminalized and they're working on legalization only in a therapeutic setting. They're still going to gatekeep everything, fuckers. They tricked us, and I am against those gatekeeping laws. But, I mean, at least Oregon's starting the conversation, you know? Want this internet stuff? I will have to figure out how to message you or respond. Good. Daniel, download Instagram. It won't hurt you, I promise. I promise. If it hurts, you can always delete it. Oh, SL Prec, you are so welcome. Oh, yeah, Charlie, because without it, I'm not accountable. I don't want to be the be all end all. I'm like Grand Central Station. I'm like, okay, I got this. I'm going to send it over here. Like, yeah, I'm just like your reporter. <laughs> Love to hear your thoughts on it if you care to share them when they are formulated. Neo, what was our train? I lost my train of thought. What were we talking about, Neo? Oh, traditional uses. Got it. Okay. Oh, absolutely. That's absolutely what I will do. Although I'll wait to get permission from those people first, whoever the indigenous people are and their ways. If I work with any of them and ask them for help, I'll get their permission first. White mountains of Arizona. You have mountains in Arizona? <laughs> How did I not know that? It really helps, Andrea. Cool. Yeah, my tinctures aren't working so good. I know, fish teeth. It is a step in the right direction. I agree. Oh, uh, Frank. It was part cubes, part Copelandia. Oh, Leja Mege. Did I say that right? Leja Mege. Thank you. Clear info. Well, you're very welcome, Alex. That's awesome. Fuck if someone wants to be a party kid. Stop gatekeeping. <laughs> Views on making a tincture with alcohol. Nick, I did two years ago. Every tincture I made failed. I don't know why. I just know that mushrooms are really hard to work with. You got to use a really high proof. You got to get everything right. You got to be really, really sterile. It's... I mean, mushrooms are a fungi and mold is a fungi. It's like, I don't know, they carry yeast and mold and all kinds of stuff on them. And Amanita carries one specific mold in particular that can make it go bad. I think, I don't know. I'll, I'll save that conversation for another time. By Flagstaff. Okay, well, I feel like a dumbass that I didn't know we had mountains in Arizona. Question, please. So with the drying, if you speed dry in an oven, I'm it doesn't convert. That I can't answer that. It's too blanketed of a question. It depends on your temperature. 
And Adam, how do you speed dry? Are you talking about a diff, not a regular oven? Would you like to do Joe Rogan podcast? No, nah, of course I would. But, you know, it's just a talk show. And the way that Joe Rogan works is you've got to have a book out or something you're trying to promote. And your marketing people get in touch with his people and they work out a deal. Like, whatever. The only people he has on randomly are friends. And I'm a nobody. Like, And I'm not an expert on anything, so. It'd be stupid to put me on there. Uh, the new psychoactive mushroom spotted tough shank. A hell of a name. Okay, we're caught up. So I'm going to take a moment and breathe. And then if y'all want to ask me anything about the trip, do y'all want me to talk about that at all? Or is it boring? I thought it was boring. Um... Moringa, you're talking about Amanita? Awesome info in the news. Like, oh, yeah, okay, cool. Drawing in an oven is okay. No, Bill, it's not okay. You didn't ask me, is it okay? An oven is not okay. I have videos on ovens and what I think about them and comparing ovens to dehydrators with thermometers. Go watch those. Go to the playlist tab. If you have a choice, please don't use an oven. Uh, oh, gosh, you're live. Talk about your trip. Okay. Hey, Blue Bottle. Watch any of that show on Netflix, Midnight Gospel. I love listening to it. Yeah, sometimes it's a little too out there. I need to get high, do something, and watch it. I don't know. Take more Amanita. Supposed to smell like Majority Eleven, like baked bread. James, your friend Drew thinks I'm super hot. Tell your friend James I'm old enough to be his grandmother, but thanks. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, Moringa. Well, I mean, everybody's different. I'm just really sensitive to medication and drugs or whatever, but there's someone in my life that has to do two tablespoons. Like, yeah. No, Daniel, that trip was not boring. What the fuck? No, I think it's boring to watch the video. <laughs> I was not bored. <laughs> Far from it. Oh, what did the streamy show you? Jesus, what did they not show me? Okay, one really cool thing is how thoughts become things. And uh, they let me, Laura, it took me three days to feel like myself again. Um, JJ, you don't know what sellers are legit. I don't know how to answer that. People talk about it on the forum. Yeah, blue bottle, but it's, it's a shitty result using the oven. My trip was four hours. I zoomed the fuck out of here. In 10 minutes time, I was gone. And in four hours, I was back. It was a really quick trip. It was really weird. Laura, it's been nothing but good. It's been nothing but good. I've got probably five or six things that I'm working on in my head simultaneously. That's what I was saying I was going to definitely be thinking about. Because I think there, that's valid. It was absolutely worth it. It wasn't even worth it in the long run. It was worth it the minute I took it. It was worth it while I took it. It was worth it the 24 hours after while I was spaced out and unsure where I was. It's been worth it every step of the way. The trip was worth it. The people I met was worth it. It was beautiful. It's been nothing but a beautiful experience. And I am definitely going to do it again. I want to do less just to be present and play. But I'm going to do more, and I want to take 12 grams next time. Yeah, that was my first time doing psilocybin. Greetings from Norway. Yay! Tea comes and goes quicker. Really? Okay. Well, there you go. If someone's interested in connection, shaman, look up Christian. Thanks for that, John Mighty. Cannabis, I take lion's mane. I have a video on all the supplements I take, and I've been taking lion's mane for several years now. One of the things about lion's mane that people don't, I don't know, I haven't seen talked about very much is um, 19, 18, 18 years ago, I accidentally stabbed myself in the hand, and the knife went pretty far in, and it severed blood vessels and an, a major nerve that serves these three fingers. And I had surgery and they reconnected the nerve, but the surgery failed. And I, these fingers have been numb for 18 years, but 
two and a half years ago, three years ago, when I first started taking lion's mane, I said for my brain about nine months after taking it regular, regularly, all the feeling back, my connection is unstable. Great. So whatever lion's mane did to my brain, it was also doing to the peripheral nerves. So I am 100% healed 18 years later. I have all the feeling back in these fingers. It's crazy. It was a lion's mane. Um, where are we? Do you ever eat the caps? Are you T Smith? James, I eat, I fasted Julian on that day. Are y'all getting sketchies? Am I going in and out on this? Cause I'm getting a notice that my connection's unstable. Yes, I fasted all day. That's why I kept talking about being hungry. Uh, fish teeth, the last time I found lion's mane in the woods, I was going to dehydrate it and turn it into a powder. And I freaking fried and ate the whole damn thing till I was sick. It was so good. You look at the life cycle of a haploid diploid mycology and its reproduction makes me think of the existence and near east mysticism, rebirth, wall and naga symbolism. Okay, I got to think about that. Notice since I started lying, my carpal tunnel's better, right? See, something's up there with this whole peripheral nerve thing. It's glitchy. That sucks. I don't know what to do about it. I've been having issues with it. Right, fish teeth? Y'all, if you ever get a chance to eat real lion's mane, like fry it up and eat it. It's so good. Yeah, Vlad, they're just really, 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 really powerful. They're like five, six times more powerful than Amanita. Are you aware if they were cubed, cyan's probably cubed, so any idea where they were from, Ecuador, Brazil. Are you asking me, Daniel, what I took? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. And I didn't ask. It cut out when you said about eating them. Okay. If you get a chance to fry and eat real lion's mane, like from the wild, do it. They're so good. I have not tried chaga. Yes, it is. Did you take it during the day or night? I took it at four o'clock. Frank, the video is up now of me of me doing it. Um, I took it at four o'clock. I was gone by four fifteen. Oh, the Amanita. I took it. Okay, Frank, you were taking asking if I took it day or night. James, you were asking. What are you asking about the Amanita, about eating it? I eat it raw. I mean, I don't eat a whole one. I just take a bite out of it. Oh, bye, Julian. Thank you for coming. Hey, Matthias. Okay, so I got to drink some more tea. Is anybody drinking tea with me? I had zero nausea from the psilocybin. But my ass the next day was not happy. <laughs> that shit was not great coming back out. Let me tell you. <laughs> uh, mm. Thanks, Random. You're drinking chaga tea at the moment. Oh, I take chaga <laughs> every day. Sean, I drank so much coffee this morning. It's crazy. Purging the system is healthy. Yeah, that's how it felt. I was totally in alignment with it. I just took my phone and sat on the toilet and watched TikToks. <laughs> Leroy, cheers to your whiskey, man. Plan on working more with psilocybin. Absolutely. fucking lutely I want to do more, way more. I want to do 10, 10 grams. Definitely. Uh, one day trip the sky turned purple and pyramid spaceships start flying towards me. It's probably most amazing visuals. Yeah, I want to do I want to do less and be able to be a okay, death to psychonautica. Ah, my connection is unstable. I just got off Zoom meeting with my patrons and we invited a death to psychonautica. And he was, we were talking, I was talking about something and he made some statement and it went directly to my trip. And that was that I had been selling my soul my whole life. 
Like I was talking about being kind of snarky in comments when people do certain things that I just cannot abide by. Like there's certain lines people cannot cross. And when they do, I quit being the nice, polite, professional YouTuber. And I can say some pretty nasty shit. I don't mean to be mean, but I come down pretty hard on them, especially if they are shaming or trying to gatekeep. And I just, I can't abide by that shit. And I don't know. I was saying that it feels like I sell my soul to be polite. And I don't remember what Adepta said, but the thought was immediately, you've been selling your soul your whole life. And now you're learning to stop and to be who you need to be and to be who you are. And if who you are means you come down pretty hard on shamers and gatekeepers, well, then that's just, that's where you are right now. So I'm going to forgive myself and give myself permission, but, uh, you know, not to be a total asshole. It's not okay to just be a dick to people, but I don't know, man. I don't take too kindly to religious nuts coming in and shaming psychedelic shamers, mushroom shamers, gatekeepers. Can't tolerate it. No, it's not a face tattoo. It's a stamp. It's a makeup thing. It's an eyeliner. And on the other end of it, it's got a stamp. Isn't it cute? <laughs> I wear it anytime I'm celebrating. But I need to get a tattoo. I got to get a tattoo. I want an Amity's tattoo. Anybody know? Botanics all over Europe. So be it. Right? Moringa was there. Selling your soul. Not good, right? Egyptian symbols. I didn't see anything Egyptian. Right, Frank? People that call themselves teachers and look down on their students. Yeah. I'm not a teacher, though. I'm the student. Believe it or not, like, this is school right here. The, the comments scrolling by. My comment section, it's all school. No, Johnny, gatekeepers are needed like drag. No, that's not the kind of gatekeeping I'm talking about. I like dragons. I understand you need protection. I'm talking about people that try to say this mushroom belongs to them and everyone's got to use it the way they think. And they go around policing everybody like fuck that noise. Cool, Frank. Share it with us. Tag me on Instagram. The mushroom is the teacher. Oh, Moringa, thank you. See, that's what I think about teachers and teaching. Like, I just want to get information and be like, guess what, y'all? I got some new information. It's going to be on the forum, whatever. Because I don't have anything to teach really Matthias the guy that makes my merch designs on my merch he drew me a tattoo I don't even know if I've got it on my phone anymore to show it to you I don't know if I can even put a picture on here like I'm sure there's probably a way to get something off my computer and put it on the screen I downloaded software that you can live stream with that would enable me to do that but it's mostly for gamers and it's really confusing and people that are good at tech even say that it's kind of difficult to use and I don't really know what else to download, but oh, Oracle, thank you. My first super chat. Yay. Oh, that's so awesome. Thank you. I'm honored. I never know what to do when y'all give me tips. Like, okay, that I know what I'm doing now with this. And that's, I got to get a camera. I can't, this is my camera. This is what all my videos are made on. And I need a proper camera. If you'll let me real quick, let me scroll through my photos and see if I can find the tattoo that he drew for me. I really like it a lot, but it feels like something more needs to be added to it. And if any of you guys want to chime in, if any of you draw and you want to add to it or something. Oh, yep, there it is. Now, let me see if it's going to let me turn my light down so it doesn't flash so badly. Hang on. What do you think? It's blurry, but you get the idea, right? Okay. Turn the light back up. That's that's what I'm looking at. I am the knowledge provider, I guess. I'm just the platform. 
I'm the I'm the referee at Grand Central Station. Light back. More light cues. Jaguar's a gatekeeper spirit from the Mushy and the Mayas. Well, entities can be gatekeepers. They're cool. That's fine with me, but I'll be damned if some human is going to tell me what I can and can't do. Uh, thoughts aren't always ours. I don't like that very much, Daniel. <laughs> Saruni, good question. I found some good. Sacred mushroom in the cross. Yeah, that's one of the very first things I ever read about mushrooms, Luke. Ah, stealth flowers. Thank you, Scotland. Oh my God, do you know how bad I want to come to your country? Well, everyone's agreeing with you, Daniel. I don't like it. The eye of Horus. I saw the eyes. I saw the eyes. Do you remember that in the video? I don't know if you saw the video yet, Bill, but I'm like, you're the eyes of the planet. Oh my God. Or um, the only side effect is you really hate your <laughs> Oh my god! Oh shit, Oracle, you're hilarious. Sorry. I mean, I get it though. You're an okay artist. Okay, Frank. <laughs> Moringa, you'll get used to it. Y'all, if anyone is a shaman around here, it's Moringa. You don't even know about Moringa. The outline of the tattoo. Yeah, I know. I do too. I like how it's black and white. Nordic. Shrooms look like the ankh. Yeah, they do, don't they? I saw a thing about that recently. thought you were saying the mushroom were the eyes of the planet. Nope. I saw a thing, a being. It was an eyeball and it was the eyes of the planet. Oh, conscious, are you leaving? I always wonder if the tea you're drinking contains muscaria. Well, you'll have to keep wondering because I can't say it on YouTube. I have to be very careful. I just smoked earlier some when I was on Zoom. Interesting colors, planets to spice it up. Yeah, maybe it does need color. Amanita, what's your view on the entities? Do they exist outside of our experience when your trip is over? Or are they all chilling somewhere in another dimension? See, I, did you hear me talk about that? I said, what if they're always around us? And what if when we die, we got to go hang out with them? Like, I don't want to hang out with a lot of them. My attitude before I went was they are all just us. They're all just our own psyche. But having seen what I saw now, like I'm not so sure that they are not their own entities outside of me or I'm not so sure this isn't a simulation I kind of got some of that going on too I don't know I haven't made any sense of it yet James but it definitely scrambled my eggs and I'm definitely rearranging my thoughts <laughs> or I had them rearranged for me Hey, Uncle, that's cool. Isn't it a great experience? Think of buying a fir tree to put on your deck so you can domesticate the mushroom. Good luck. I saw one big eyeball, right? Big open eyeball. And then it reminded me of the one in that game. What's the game where you're in a, a post-apocalyptic planet and there's that eyeball and it's a computer? Anyway, I can't think of the name of it. Anyway, that's what it looked like. And then... As it zoomed in, it became two, like a face, just only the eyeballs. But as it got closer, it was multiple eyes. And that's when I'm like, what the fuck? One eye in a pyramid and another in a wall of pure eyes. Well, clearly we're all seeing something there with these eye things. Okay, Moringa. Well, I don't know. The difference between a messenger and a shaman is a thin line. James, I'm glad I'm not the only one. <laughs> So I just think human consciousness merely merges with the mush and it gets to experience us. We it. Well, I actually am going to make a video about that because I got to speak to the Amanita and the psilocybin. Oh, yay. Thank you, Camaro. Oh, my God. Welcome. You're awesome. Oh, thank you. I'm going to check your channel out. So, yeah, it was kind of crazy, the conversations I had with them, and I definitely need to talk about it. She's so wonderful. You weren't here, I guess, when I said earlier, before I did this, 
I had a catnip party for all the cats and I played them out. And so now they're all passed out so that I could do this without them interrupting. Like the eye of Providence on the dollar bill. Yeah, it was similar. Yeah. Uh, lights were really funky for me. Yeah. I had a little bit of light stuff going on. Oh, Frank, really? I don't know about that, though. A 10K catnip party. Y'all want to have a 10K catnip party? Actually, catnip affects humans. I just don't think it's a psychedelic like it is for the cats. I have not. I did Amanita, right, for, what, two years? And so I'm going to focus on the psilocybin journey until I think I have permission from that to go on to the DMT thing. It'll be last. Plus, it's going to cost a lot of money to go to Peru to do it. And this channel is growing and I'm sure that will happen. But one of the goals that I have for the channel is to go forage in other countries and then probably in a couple of years, move on to the DMT thing. Thank you, Gladdy. I feel different. No, random. I thought about putting catnip in the blends. It's actually a decent herb for a smoking blend. Oh, Frank, you're welcome. Cool. Trans meditation is awesome, Chip. I've met. Uh, I did that for five years, Bill. I still haven't talked about some of the stuff I saw. Oh, thank you, Stephen. That's very sweet. You're a good dude. You're always showing up and commenting. It means so much. I wish all of you would go watch the trip video and I put all the chapters in there. That took a long time, by the way. Go use them and go to the part where uh, near the end where I'm talking to the camera because I talked to you guys about how important you all are to me and your comments. Thank you, Greg. It's crazy, isn't it? Are y'all bored yet? It's 3.02. We're going to wrap this up here soon. A depression tea? Um, well, I mean, Amanita helps with depression. But I don't make teas. I just make smoke blends. Teas, you have to use a lot. So I have tea recipes. If anyone is interested in any teas, I have a in my playlist tab, I have a tea playlist so you make the teas and you can pour your amanita in it and drink it that way i could make the teas for you oh rob they held your comment because you said fuck and you said i'm cool as fuck so i'm gonna allow it and thank you here before 100k <laughs> that's hilarious y'all 100k i don't know about that oh okay well after quite a few trips on several different products, you're starting Amanita. It's definitely different, isn't it? It hits different, though. <laughs> I love you, too, Daniel. How I would have suggested for your first time, and yet you're unscathed? No, I have deep scathes. However, I am happier. So the scathing was good, I guess. Princess Leia. Oh, right? Oh, my God. Hang on. Okay, here we go. Princess Leia. Why am I wearing these? I don't need to wear these. Why the hell did I have them on? Sorry, your Princess Leia just went away. Oh, wow, it's late in Poland. Sorry. Here before one million. <laughs> Gerson, you're hilarious. Y'all, Gerson in the comments over here. He's the one in some of the foraging videos. He was a patron and uh, found him local. Formosa. Oh, y'all have a bunch of Formosa in Washington. They are so pretty. Cool. Ha ha. Are you listening to music? I wasn't. I could be though, right? I'm a dumbass. I'm going to do this better next time. Apple cider help extraction. Yeah, because it's, uh, well, vinegar. Because it's, it's got a low pH. Entities are the same thing like the plant spirit. I don't know. 
I've worked with a lot of plants, making teas, medicinal teas, and now my smoke blends. I never thought of them as entities, though, but they definitely talk to me. You stumped me. I don't know. Raw bites or tea. I do both. JJ, it depends. If you want the ibotenic acid, then raw. If you want the muscimol, tea, convert. For you, it was the Amanitas that called you to psilocybin. For me, it was the opposite. And Dude, they work together, Jesse. Y'all, I can't wait. To, I need to make this video. They are working together on the other side. I got to see them working on the other side. It was so cool. I'm, I'm uploading a video 24 hours after I did that trip, that psilocybin trip. We left the next day. We went on the road. We drove back. On the way back, I stopped in Lexington and I stayed with a viewer. Daniel let me stay at his house. And I knew I would forget. So I set up a camera and I spoke and I recorded everything I could remember. I'm actually currently editing that video right now and I will upload it probably on Monday. But I talk a little bit about the Amanita and the psilocybin entities working together on the construct on the other side. Yeah, I have smoke blends. I have a store, an Etsy store. I can't leak to it on YouTube or they'll give me a block on my channel, a strike on my channel. And if you go to Etsy and you try to search my name, they've got me shadow banned. So you have to Google Amanita Dreamer Etsy and you'll get my smoke blends, but they're medicinal. They're not for tripping or anything. Will you be a fun guy? I don't know, Camaro. Are you fun normally? <laughs> Teresa, I love both too. Gerson, Adam, and Eve. Right? That video. I know what you're referencing. In my opinion, everything has a spirit. It does. I agree. Yep. Oh, Adam and Eve. Amanita and psilocybin. Damn, Gerson. <laughs> Aw. I don't have enough people from Russia. We need more Russians around here. Yeah, y'all, Poland explodes the Amanitas every year. Y'all are gifted them. Hey, Mr. Mister. Amanitas, yep. I need to, I, I mean, I ask, I try, but they don't talk to me about that shit. Nuke. Psilocybin Amanita. No, I don't think so, because... Amanitas are used as trip killers for LSD. I realize they may hit different receptors, but I'm pretty sure Amanita would kill a psilocybin trip. I don't know that for a fact. Ah, boy, it's moving fast now. How many people here? Here, 56. <clears throat> the streams work together. <clears throat> I don't think they work together. I do not. I disagree, but I am not speaking from experience. Anybody here have experience? I'll go find you. Awesome. Okay, cool. Thank you, Stella. Appreciate it. Apple cider preserves the extract for longer use. I haven't worked with any apple cider vinegar yet, but Russians here, Anton. Yeah. I love my Russians. I just, there's not enough of you guys. Oh, cool, Teresa. <clears throat> no mixing. Probably not recommended. Going to pick some liberties. Good luck with that. Austria representing, yay. Psilocybin keep telling me to consume Amanitas. I keep constantly getting voices, dreams about Amanitas. Jesse, it's how it always starts. So many people tell me the same thing, that they dream about them first. I hear that over and over and over and over and over. I'm scared. I want to send you some, but I don't want anyone to try them but me because I don't know if they're okay. See, I told you you're a shaman. Moringa, listen. Anton, I can't translate what you wrote. I'm sorry. I don't know how to do that while I've got this platform open. Lower silo experience. Gerson, thanks for that. Aw, thank you, Catalin. That's sweet. Is she drying a drawer? No, it'll work, but it'll go bad. You've got to have moving air over it. Who you? DR, I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce that. No, you've got to get air moving over it and warm air, like a hair dryer or anything, any warm air moving over it, or they will rot. Don't don't put them in a drawer. <clears throat> and eventually work my way up on my trips. Would love to eventually reach heroic doses. Cool. Yeah, you got to keep us posted on that. Halcyon, you're talking to someone else. 
Yeah, I know what you're talking about, Moringa, Panthers. Oracle, naturopathic doctor doing research here in beautiful Portland, Oregon. Well, my daughter's thinking about moving to the West Coast. If she goes, I'm going. Which part of Finland have you been working? Are shrooms good for the prostate? <laughs> <laughs> um mushrooms are check into reishi high doses of reishi for what two or three days i'm saying that's a dangerous somehow small doses see nick i can't say outright legally but just know that i use it in small doses and a lot of people do. And if you get on the forum, people are talking about it. Start a post about it. I know several people that are using it to treat their ADD. Hello, call of spirits. How the hell are you? We're about to close up shop here. I uh, live right outside Portland, Oregon. So many people outside of Portland. And my best friend lives in Portland. Poop a lot more on any mushroom. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> you ate an archangel. Ah, don't we all? Sweat and salivate. Yeah, that's the ibotenic acid uh, making you do that. Love from universe. Thank you. Oh, you found my Etsy. Cool. Oh, thank you, Veronique. Welcome. Uh, the snuppet can eat. Eat, eat, speak, needs a lot of speak, Ingles. <laughs> Oregon is such a mushroom state. I know, right? There's more Russians. Yay. Oh, thank you, Moringa. An electric oven has a fan in the back. No, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, there's those are called convection ovens in, in the States, in America. Those those tend to work better. That's what people are telling me. <clears throat> Fair to Midland. Just listen to what you got to say. Cool, cool, cool. Hey, Gottlieb, I can't translate that right now because I'm on live. I would have to go to Google Translate to translate what you just said. Mushroom. Oh, everything's going so quickly. Pantherina's Regalis information videos planned. Sort of, but like I don't like trying to give information about something that I've never experienced. Like I, that just kind of goes against what I am. Recommend Ecuadorian cubes. Okay. Okay. Congratulations. Thank you, Manic. Look, my balloon's stinky. It's crazy. I wish I knew Russian Gottlieb. I'm so sorry. Daniel, Russians created the most impressive man made mushroom. The Tsar's bomb was 57 megatons. Jesus Christ. The Russians do a lot, though. There's so much, like the Sami people. And a lot of the indigenous Russian use that goes back thousands of years. Oh, what I wouldn't give to be able to travel there. All right. We got to close this down. 68 people. What the hell? I love you guys. You're killing me. I feel not worthy. But you're giving me your time on a Saturday. Oh, my God. We're, look at us. We're playing together. Look at us. We're a community. We found our tribe. Sean is here. <laughs> okay. Try a small dose of Panthers. Of course. Absolutely, I would. Uh, Krusy, I can't read Polish. I'm sorry, and I don't have a way to translate it. And um, anyone will deliver to Europe, but they won't deliver to Great Britain because of the laws. Thank you, James. Thanks for the drawing, Frank. Thank you, Stephen. Oh, you're welcome, Geometric. I look forward to it. We're going to do this every month, second Saturday. Patrons, we have a Zoom, second Saturday of every month. We're going to do more tea ceremonies and more tea recipes. And y'all don't forget the merch. I keep my smoke stuff in here, but this is the holiday merch that I am unveiling and I got my merch shelf for reaching 10,000. So going into the holidays with this, all of us, no matter where you are, are going into lockdown. So let's use it as a time to stay in touch, get on the forum, hit me up on Instagram, hit me up in the comments section. I love you beautiful people more than you know. If you watch my trip video, the psilocybin, you'll find out how much I love you. 
They're everywhere. Mesomyra. It's not bad for you, man. Teresa, thank you. Hey, Teresa. Thank you. Where's the forum, folks? It's links in the description of all my videos for the forum. I do remember the first time I tried Amanita, and it's my trip report to celebrate 1,000 subs. I talk about it. Not that I don't want to talk about it now, just for make it easier. Thank you, Jesse. I will keep it up. Y'all help me when it gets hard. Y'all help me. Every time I wake up in the morning and I'm like, fuck this channel, fuck the assholes, fuck YouTube. I don't want to do it anymore. And then I feel the weight of all of your love pushing me forward. And I'm like, but the people are so loving and beautiful and I love them and I want to do it. <laughs> and then I can't wait to keep getting up and doing it again. Always listen to the mushroom, not the people. That's the best advice, isn't it? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. I'm going to close it down. Let's meet up in the comments section forum. Come to the next live video in December. Sean, you just did something and it says message deleted by the Google moderator team. Sorry. Um, Amanita is not legal. Love from the universe. It is not legal in the UK. The law has not been challenged yet. We're not here for their drama. We're here to learn about this dope species. True, man. It, yeah. Oh, Sean, why would they moderate that? You're so beautiful, Sean. Thank you. All right. The sky is the beginning. Don't even get me started on that, Mike. You're going to make me... <laughs> I still get flashbacks like y'all say shit and I'm like, my brain goes back to when I was tripping. It's like, no, this, the sky is the beginning. YouTube is a broken dude. Right, Sean? Right? All right, y'all. This is hard to walk away from. I don't want to go. But I have food in the oven and I go get it out. And I got to. Hey, what about the quotes in that video, y'all? Some funny shit. But I remember when I said it is such a hungry business being human. When the fuck? I'm going to put that on a shirt. <laughs> okay. We're going to go. Yes, Luke. YouTube is a censorship machine. Oh, thank you, Vlad. That's very sweet. And... I'm just loving some of those quotes. I came all this way to take mushrooms to meet God to feel guilty about eating a banana. <laughs> I didn't lose my beingness just because I'm displaced. <laughs> oh, all right, y'all. Oh, you're welcome, Laura. Thank you. Y'all are beautiful. Poor banana. I know the Halcyon. <laughs> That's hilarious. I know. It's just hard. I love y'all so much. Uh, I'm going to end this with 54 people sitting here. Oh, that sucks. That is a crap feeling. Okay, here we go. I love you. Three. I love you, beautiful people. Two. Bye.